Yeah, I mean, I, you know, the thing is that's uh, perhaps just too much of a reductionistic and, and linear piece of thought. The world is an incredibly complex place. You know, and the one thing the Paris Agreement taught us is that absolutely everyone and every issue needs to be at the table. So there's no silver bullet here. Um, we've got to mix it. And that's the point. We know very clearly from the way that the uh, adaptation article is articulated in the Paris Agreement that there's a very strong link back to mitigation ambition. We know that adaptation is particularly costly. It makes no good sense to down tools on mitigation and divert your limited resources into adaptation when in fact you get more bang for your buck if you invest in both wisely. So you invest in mitigation to reduce your risk profile, but then you take r limited resources too, and what risk remains, deal with that in a sustainable and equitable way. And so you know, I think that's the call, is there's no simple choice anymore. You've actually got to do it all. And the real difficulty in that equation is who does what, when, to whom. Um, and that's the, the, the landscape we're now working in.